What is the best procedure for a tight, strong jawline and neck? Thank you for your question. You're asking, uh, with the three photos you submitted, what is the best way to get a tight jawline and um, improvement in the appearance in this area, tight neck and jawline? So, uh, certainly, with the photos you submitted, there's good enough information to give me, to allow me to give you some guidance on how I have a discussion with patients like you in my practice. To give you a little background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been practicing in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years and facial rejuvenation is a big part of my practice and certainly having people come to see better definition of facial features whether it's, whether it's their cheekbones and jawline, neck is a very common issue. So in the context of the, the, of the limited views of your photos, I'll give you first some global understanding of how I, uh, I discuss, have a discussion with patients and then I'll give you some idea of what I've done for people in specific unique uh, scenarios or, or co actually more common scenarios I should say. So to begin with we have to think about what is your um, baseline appearance. Has this been always an issue for you? The question is, is how well defined has your neck been? Is this a family trait? A lot of times people will say that in my family everyone's got this volume in the, under their chin or we all have short necks or uh, that, that type of scenario. Another c circumstance that can affect the definition is, is the physical weight. Some people tend to gain volume in their cheek area their neck area. There's, except, there are also people who can be fit otherwise but still not have good definition around this area. So I want to help you distinguish a little bit between the difference between tight and defined. In your situation I think that what you want is just better structure and definition. I think that it would be maybe a little bit early for you to have a lifting procedure. If you're, and, the, and the differentiation there is that in a person who is relatively young with a procedure such as something that can define this area such as liposuction, the skin has a tendency to retract and by reducing fat in some critical areas you get that definition. I always explain to patients that a young face is not a tight face. A, an attractive face is not a tight face. It's really about definition. So if, if, if that's what basically is your intention, then I think a very straightforward liposculpting procedure is beneficial. And one thing that I would really want you to understand is that fat isn't completely the enemy. Fat in the wrong places can be sculpted, but it's very important for youthful skin to have a certain amount of fat just below the skin. That creates this kind of nice, soft, youthful look. One of the unfortunate realities of, uh, of a surgery um, that's done very aggressively can result in wrinkling of the skin and aging appearance of the skin. When you look at a young person, a, a child, a teenager, someone in their 20s, they have this nice look of smoothness and softness that is reflective of several things that uh, are factors, but one major factor is often referred to as baby fat. It's the fat layer that's under the skin. So I would say in, in a situation like yours where if you had any plans to lose weight, I would say allow some, then, then reevaluate after the weight loss. The reason is, is that a lot of times when people lose weight, they tend to lose weight in their face and they sometimes do their own 
uh, self-lipo, if you will, by just reducing the fat globally and they get better definition. If someone is pretty much close to their weight that they don't, and they don't have any expectations of losing weight anytime soon, then strategic liposuction can be an option. We had a patient uh, who, had, who was planning to get married in a few months and she was at a certain weight and wasn't, that, that weight wasn't going to change that much in that time frame. And so for her, this procedure turned out to be perfect. Liposuction really defined her face, defined her neck in a way that would really, really worked out favorably for her. So I think the take home message here is, first, is there a more global issue with the distribution of fat? And if so, is that something that you can address holistically with weight loss? And two, if that isn't the situation and you are likely to stay at a certain weight for, for the long term uh, or, sure, or, or, or for the next few years, then I think lipos then, then liposuction at this point is likely to be of value to you. Meet with qualified experienced cosmetic surgeons and decide who you're comfortable with and what scenario you'd like this done. We generally do this procedure under local anesthesia with very light sedation. It's a very straightforward procedure. It doesn't take a long time to do. It is an art and it's, it, it is, I would say, equally the talent to take some fat out and leave some behind just to get the best sculpting and contour. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck and thank you for your question.